when I first met Dee, um, what I could see was here was a very uh, well-informed, intelligent woman who had a very clear idea of what her health needs were and how she could best meet them. And uh, what was also apparent was that uh, that was not going to be through current commissioned NHS services and that it, you know, we had a duty to support her, to meet her health needs, the way that was going to work for her. And uh, although she receives oncology support, uh, what she was needing and wanting was an, to utilise a network of therapists within the community. So in order to develop a personalised support plan, had to collaborate with other services um, for D and such as adult care and support, her GP practice, um, oncology services, uh, other uh, therapists, um, also uh, looking at uh, grant providers. Um, there was the Macmillan Outreach Workers, um, Macmillan Grant Service. Um, and But actually with D is very self-motivated and actually does a lot of the liaison herself. So she likes to, you know, she, she has the therapist that she wants to work with and she arranges all of that aspect herself. So um, she is a very independent person who's, who's happy to do that. I feel that Dee's story is really important to be shared with people who have cancer because or for anyone with a long-term health condition, because what D shows is that often what someone is told is not set in stone. So D was given a, um, a prognosis of five years and 12 years on, Dee's still here. And she has managed her care superbly. And she has skilled herself with a wealth of knowledge and that um, she made a choice to take control of a house. My journey through cancer has been that oncologists are totally fixed. Oncologists work with chemicals, big pharmaceutical companies and radiation. And that is very limiting because what both having chemotherapy and radiation actually collapse the immune system completely. So that when you're on chemotherapy, you can't go near anybody who has a cold because you will actually catch that cold instantly because you have got no protection from it whatsoever. Um, but if you can support that with other therapies, then that is what kind of gets you through. If you have to use, which I did, I used chemotherapy and I used radiation, and they were incredibly difficult experiences to go through. I have sworn I will never ever have chemotherapy again. It killed me, literally. I was in bed for three weeks every month, and you just get well again, and then you'd be zapped with another dose, and then down I would go. I have to work with integrative medicine. This is the common name that it's now being given, so that we're integrating all the best parts of complementary therapy alongside all the best parts of what an oncologist can offer, and the surgeons. Um, you know, I've, I've, I've got um, my consultant surgeon has, has been incredibly helpful. I'm working two different streams of medical education. I'm working with the um, standard routine oncology surgery side of things, and at the same time I'm working with the integrative medicine, so that for me, it's homeopathy that actually supports my body. Um, if we move on to the medical herbalism, what um, my herbalist can do for me is he keeps my immune system up and strong. I keep my oncologist posted with what I'm doing. He knows what I'm doing. 
and uh, it's like dripping water on a stone. Eventually, it might wear something away, you know, so that they can go, maybe I'd better have a look at this. I've actually said to him, if you could give all of your patients homeopathy, acupuncture and herbs, you would have such a much better outcome. So hopefully one day there will be an integrative medicine set up that enables everybody to take part in this because so many people have no knowledge of, of what homeopathy does, what acupuncture does, um, or what herbs can do. I think it's made a huge difference. I don't think that I would still be here. I was diagnosed with cancer in 2008 and I was given, at first I got five years and then he kind of grudgingly said, well, if I did this and this, I might get 10. But he was, and I just, I didn't like his figures. And I said so, you know, I said, I'm, I'm not having it. I'm going to do something about this myself. I didn't like being given a lifespan. I, I don't think it's helpful at all. Whereas what I get through working with people who get to know me, the acupuncturist, the herbalist, the homeopathy, I am totally supported. At any moment, I can phone any one of them up and say, this is happening. You know, can you advise me? Can you give me some guidance? Is this okay? Using personalization and personal health budgets means that we can get support around a person much faster than if we had to go through referral processes and only use current commission services, which may have long waiting list. Personalization allows you um, to put the individual at the heart of everything you do. And part of that is around um, accepting that life comes with risks and that people's choices have risks and, and that's okay. And that, that's really important that people are allowed to take risks and that actually for some people, they may want, uh, what's important to them may be a better quality of life rather than a longer life. And that that's okay too. It gives you the freedom to, to make choices. You take back control for your own health. I'm just really hopeful for the future that if this can be rolled out um, and if more integrative medicine can be given to more people and they get a greater understanding of what it's about and how it can support them through this. It's an awful disease having cancer, but it's not a life sentence. You know, or should I say a death sentence? Yes, it's not a death sentence. And this is what so many people actually believe. I think when they're given this awful word, you have got cancer, they just don't see that they can live through it. I would definitely recommend anybody to, if they are offered a personal health budget advisor, say yes, please with both hands immediately, and then work out why you need it and what support you can get, because hopefully the people who are going to be doing the work like Debbie do know what therapies are available, what they can begin to integrate into their lives to improve their living well. Mm -hmm.